What is going on, everybody? It's Suck Attic back with another Dungeon Alchemist stream here. I apologize, it's been quite some time since I've released a video or been around. I've been super busy, and uh, the gigging season is almost at an end. Uh, summers are always super busy uh, with the music stuff, and then it kind of settles down, and I can get back to being a fucking nerd like I want to be. Um, so, yeah. Glad to be back. What's up to everybody returning? Anybody who's watching this for the first time, I appreciate you checking out the channel. Um, I just wanted to show off our guild hall from the Fraternity of Maidenless Ne'er-Do-Wells. Uh, this was one of the first maps I built with Dungeon Alchemist, and it was really important to our team that um, I made it as, as good as I can, because it's going to be our most used map, pretty much used in uh, every session we have. So... I will stop rambling and just get to it. So this here is the entrance way into our amazing guild. And for those of you uh, sitting there like, oh, turn my headphones up. Where's the uh, bomb ass Fallout style music? Well, none of my other videos got flagged with a copyright claim, but my most recent one did. So I'm sorry, Mr. Artie Shaw. We'll have to find a replacement for that one. But uh yeah, all right. So let's go in the front door, shall we? Oh, no, don't flip it around. Come on. All right. Oh, some novice stuff here. So this is the hall, the great hall. Um, this is where uh, most of the guild vendors that we have hang out, as well as uh, any other patrons, anybody who might want to come back to the guild and hang out. Uh, with the crew, um, the crew consists of all of the player characters, and then they have their support, like the guild merchants. You know, one for potions, general finds, uh, scrolls, anything, you know, blacksmith, all that. So, yeah, this is where uh, the main magic happens. Um, we'll continue into our hallway here. We have our guild bunks. Off to the left, our first guild bunker. Man, I gotta stop doing that. Select off the doors before using the mouse wheel. Or you'll start inverting those. Um, yeah, got their their mess room and another bunk hall here. This is our uh, alchemy lab. I just did it again right after I said I wouldn't do that. Oh man, look at me go today. But yeah, this is where our alchemist Merkit, he's quite a eccentric dragonborn. He hangs out in here. This is his garden to get his necessary herbs and spices. You know, we all love those. Um, this is where our cleric Everod hangs out. This is where uh, he writes the scrolls for the party, um, sells them things, and does his prayers to Kelimvol. Uh This is one thing my players told me. I didn't even pick this up, but... They even got the reflections in these mirrors. I mean, talk about the detail. This program is just going off, man. I love it. Uh, another thing I figured out last time, um, you can change these to be cracked uh, with the new update or damaged, ruined. You can also upload custom images. So I'm going to upload one of my old character arts to this. So yeah, that's from an old campaign, Jakku. The Tabaxi Rogue. Yeah, so that'll be a little spoiler Easter egg. Um, we got our armory here, where our paladin likes to dress down to nothing and clean his armor and halberd. Um, this is where they have their prison cell as well, just in case they need to bring anybody back alive, which is rare. And the teleport room. And through Roll20, I actually put a teleporter in here for them. Um... I don't know if there's anything that would work in here at recently, but I just had a teleporter kind of set up already, a uh, token for it on Roll20, so I went ahead and used that. But yes, so we will continue onwards and out back. So this is where our dwarven smith, Oyvind, hangs out. And uh, this is where he repairs, um, augments, buys or sells any weapons or armor that the party might want to get rid of or obtain or use over here in this newly added uh, fighting pit so um 
they got a bulletin board here. You can change each one of these uh, bulletins here. So you can put images, scripts, whatever. It's just crazy. I love how it's the little things, man, you know? And so we got all of their weapons they might want, some shields, um, some archery targets, and some stands for anybody who wants to watch. So that's essentially our whole uh, guild hall for the fraternity of maidenless ne'er-do-wells. So yeah, there we go. Uh, I just made the switch from Roll20 over to Foundry VTT. Uh, I was looking for a way to take these maps out of Dungeon Alchemist in 3D like this um, and put them into another program to play. Because right now we're playing with perspective mode. And if I understand correctly, and somebody please let me know in the, the comments below or send me a message, something. If there's a way to get these onto a tabletop platform um, and be able to use these in this view rather than the perspective view. Still love the perspective view. You still get a lot of the details, um, especially if you're zoomed in far enough. You can kind of see the art on the images, the reflections. It picks up uh, the walls really well, so it's, it's a, still great. But if there's any way to do this, myself and my players would be appreciated. I know there's Tailspire um, off of Steam, which is its own... I guess, entity. Um, but through my research, I found Foundry VTT, which still kind of, you, you know, you get this setup, but it works better with the lights and the walls I was finding and is more intuitive. Uh, there's a lot of mods for it. And you can add HUDs. I'm sure I'll release a video soon on once I get it set up on reasons why I made the switch and everything and show you guys some of the reasons why, especially working with Dungeon Alchemist. I feel like it's a more modernized version of Roll20 and other platforms um, like that. I haven't used any other ones. Um, but from what I heard, especially on Reddit, because, you know, if you want to hear the truth, you go go on some of those posts, man. People can get pretty colorful. But you'll you'll learn what you need to find on there. So, yeah, to Foundry VTT for us. And I hope you've liked our showcase of our guild hall. Um, if you like any of the assets or any of the things I've done in here, I would be happy to provide the DAM file so you can import this right into your Dungeon uh, Alchemist and be able to edit it, use it, whatever. Um, also, check out their Discord. There's a lot of that going on. Uh, you can share maps and post your own maps and learn all kinds of stuff. Very, very active community, and it's a very excited community, which is awesome. A lot of good inspiration. Learn something new every time I go on there. So I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, so yeah, don't know if I have much more to say about that. But um, for everybody who's been sticking in, watching these videos, uh, supporting my channel, um, just leaving a like, comment, subscribe, anything helps. Up to 13 subscribers already. So damn, already uh, blew my goal of one out of the water. So yeah, until next time. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay frosty, my friends.